You know, if you're watching a movie Slapshot, do you ever wonder to yourself, who are the extras or the extra players that the Hanson brothers and the other uh, goons of uh, the, the Charlestown Chiefs were attacking uh, and basically were left pummeled uh, for uh, posterity? Now, one of them, one of the players who was on the ice, when the Hansons get the first shift, he gets knocked down and gets heavily slashed, while all three Hanson brothers knock him down the corner, and he falls almost uh, in abject pain from the triple team. Now, did you know that player was a Montreal Canadiens draft pick? He also won a Memorial Cup. He was a CIAU star, and he's the son of a Stanley Cup winner. Well, that's what I'm here for. I want to give you a little bit of entertainment history about the great Frank Hamill. Now, Frank Hamill, uh, born in Toronto, November 13th, 1949, eventually became a big star in the North American Hockey League, and their players were recruited for Paul Newman's production in the mid-1970s. Now, he first came to major province with Garson of the NOJHL in the 64-65 season, but eventually went on to the Toronto Marlies of the OHA, winning the Memorial Cup with them in 67. Now, his draft year was uh, very strong, 1969. Uh, 32 goals, 45 assists, 77 points, a 5'7", 170 pound uh, right winger. Now he was taken in round 8, 79 overall, could have went uh, much higher. Now he eventually became a native of Sudbury, where he, uh, his family of course uh, uh, has great connections. Now he's a son of former NHL player in 1939, Stanley Cup winner Robert Red Hamill, who was playing for Chicago when Frank was born. Now, a very, very interesting path to Slapshot. He stayed one more season in Toronto where he had, uh, uh, excuse me, he stayed uh, in uh, the Toronto uh, region. By the way, in 1966, he had 15 points in 48 games for the Barbies. Forgot to mention that. He decided to sit out the 1969-70 season to become an unrestricted free agent. He eventually got back to pro hockey by playing the first month for uh, Muskegon of the IHL in 70-71, and that squad won the uh, association's regular season title. But his rights were eventually sold by Muskegon to Fort Wayne in November 1970. Now, from there, he decided to uh, take a different path with his career. He skated for two years with Laurentian University, a very strong team in the CIAU OU AA uh, program. Uh, 80, uh, 84 points over two seasons, including 36 goals. Now, what's kind of ironic this whole situation, ladies and gentlemen, after leaving Laurentian, he went to the NAHL, the North American Hockey League, put up 85 points in the 74 season, put up 44 in 75. And uh, the weird uh, path to the slap shot filming happened when <coughs> he went from Broome County to Erie of the NAHL, then to the Mohawk Valley Comets. Now, the Mohawk uh, Valley Comets were recruited to be extras in the movie. While playing with Mohawk, Hamill was one of the many NAHL players to appear as extras in the movie Slapshot, but he got, a, got at least three or four big scenes. He worked for seven days during the 1976 filming of the movie in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, the Charlestown Cheese, and appears in a famous scene that shows the Hanson's first shift. The Paul Newman character says, go out and show what you can do, and boy, did he show what he can do. Now, wearing a green number 12, his unlucky number in the scenes for the opposing team, Hamill is hit hard and slashed by the Hansons before beating be being senseless by altering them in the corner and left along the boards to follow his back in pain. He also takes a punch from one of the Hansons and he's suing a bench clearing ball. Now, according to Hamill in published reports, it was a great expensive experience fumbling movie. There was a great camaraderie. And uh, what was uh, kind of weird here, Bibbington had loaned him to Mohawk Valley for the balance of the uh, 76 season in December of that year, so he's a very well-regarded player. Now, 
He returned to Bainton after his retirement in 77 and went into all things the insurance business, working for National Life. He later became an investment advisor and financial consultant for a company called NPA Financial LLC. And you should know a lot about uh, dealing with people being almost uh, an overnight uh, sensation. Now, his last season with Mohawk Valley put up some dynamite numbers, 84 points in 71 games, including 34 or 5 goals. So, let's just recap, ladies and gentlemen. Memorial Cup winner, son of a Stanley Cup winner, Drafted by the Montreal Canadiens, one of the better players of the NHL during the 1970s, eventually became a movie star, albeit a walk-on or a cameo, and went into uh, a great financial uh, services uh, uh, career where he was heavily respected. I think that's more than a career that's worth mentioning on our podcast channel. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our latest in our kind of feature podcast on the Summit of Legacy of Slapshot. If you like the movie, uh, please let us know. And what do you think about young Mr. Hamill getting almost murdered for the sake of good filmmaking? When the Hansons come down with that stick towards him, we all know it was fake, but uh, it kind of scared a lot of people and reminded them of uh, kind of senior hockey up the North Shore way where I come from in New Brunswick. Again, thanks for listening. If you like what you're doing, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And as we like to say in the Hanson universe, you better keep your stick in the ice. Thanks for listening. Bye.